So today we're going to be talking about adding touch controls to Construct 2. So the first thing we want to do is insert a new touch input. Right click, insert new object, touch input. Next we're going to add a layer for the touch control. So we add a touch control layer. That's what we're going to be putting the buttons. And we're going to also change the window property, window size to be 640 by 360, which is a typical 16 by 9 ratio, which is better for mobile devices. Also, we want to set the, set the parallax on the touch control layer to be 0, 0. And the parallax is basically just uh, that allow us to keep the buttons on the screen at all times. It's uh, used for depth perception in games. Next, we're going to add a couple buttons to the uh, touch control. So, uh, a rather, insert new object, sprite. And those will be uh, our left and right and up controls, but they are actually sprites. Insert new object, sprite. And so we just drew the right one, and now we're drawing the left. Excuse me. We're drawing the right now. And just take that down to size. And remember to put them uh, in the bottom corners of the, uh, of the frame, of the dotted frame there. Uh, you can really change the uh, really whatever placement you want, but usually the, the user would hold the tablet or the phone by the bottom two corners, the left and right corner. That's why we're putting the controls there. And we're going to put the jump control in both the left and the right sections. Uh, just so it's easier access uh, and you know jumping is pretty important in all of our games. Uh, it's always important to rename your sprites so we're going to name our buttons to be left movement button, right movement button. And we're going to name this one to be up movement button or we could say jump. Next, we're going to add uh, the touch controls to the event sheet. So first, we're going to create a group. Uh, just it organizes things a little nicer. So we'll name it touch movement. And I made that common by mistake, so you can just ignore that. So touch movement group. And we're going to say for the touch, add event for touch is touching object. And the object we're going to change is left mouse button. And the action, we're going to say player simulate control. So it's a touch movement, is touching the button, and the player will simulate control. Next, we're going to copy and paste this twice and change it for the right and up buttons. And the right button is just simulate right. So now we can test the game and see that the controls are in the game. And when you press jump, left, right. And it's pretty cool as well if the buttons are over, uh, hovering over each other, occupying the same space, it actually does both commands as you can see. So he jumps over to the left and right at the same time, left and up rather at the same time.